I assume that next time I call you directly, you'll pick up the phone. Logan, let me give you the ABCs of me. I don't take meetings. I set them. And my respect isn't demanded. It's earned. That's only two things. What's C? C is for people who show me they know A and B. So, Top 5 Films for Law Students has just surpassed 50,000 views. If you've not seen that video, I'll link it above. I suggest you start there because this video is all about the films that I missed. So some of you have put in the comments some films I should have looked at in this video. I'm going to look at them and tell you why I didn't include them or otherwise what my thoughts are. My name's Joshua. I have a whole series based on films per subject. If you want to check that out, please have a look at my channel after this video. Subscribe if you want to see more. But let's just get into the first film. What's the matter with you guys? You're letting them slip through our fingers. Slip through our fingers? Are you his executioner? You cut it. Ever since you walked into this room, you've been acting like a self-appointed public avenger. Shut up. You're a sadist. Twelve men. Okay, so 12 Angry Men. I'll be honest, it's a great film. I absolutely love it. But I wasn't so convinced about it as a film for law students. Sure, you know, it shows what the jury goes through, which would be an interest to law students. Um, until I watched it, I wasn't really sure what a jury room looked like, what kind of went on in there, you know, how did we come to a decision, guilty or not guilty. And I think this film highlights interesting issues that the jury will go through, such as potential prejudice, as one of the character has. He clearly he has um, racial views but he also has another um, juror who's more interested in going to a baseball game than being in there for the most part actually you seem to think that most of the jurors are just going along with what the socially powerful characters are talking about and this raises a huge question you know whether or not the defendant is getting you know the right attention are they going to be getting justice are they getting a fair hearing if it wasn't for the film's main character really questioning the guilty verdict, the defendant really wouldn't have stood a chance and would have probably got a guilty verdict with very little discussion which would have meant the death penalty. Now I do think this film will be interesting to law students, maybe not as much as the films I mentioned in my top 5 video. However, ultimately, I decided not to include it as I thought there isn't enough courtroom drama, there isn't enough time spent in the courtroom, and overall, I think this film probably caters more to psychology students. I think the film shows more about group dynamics and issues such as conformity, peer pressure, and with, with the case of the main character, the impact of minority influence. If you agree with me, disagree with me, let me know in the comments, but let's move on to my next film. I'll answer the question. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Now, A Few Good Men did hit my radar, and I did put a lot of thought into it, but I, in the end, I considered it to be in the same respect, the same level as Rules of Engagement, starring Samuel L. Jackson. I mean, they're both military dr courtroom dramas. In some ways, they're similar films. I don't no, it was hard to decide. However, I think you may be right as this film is not only in the comments section of my video, but it has a higher rating on IMBD. But if you don't know, A Few Good Men revolves around the court martial of two US Marines charged with the murder of a fellow Marine, and the film also showcases the perspectives of the lawyers on either side of the case. Come to think of it, it also stars Jack Nicholson, who I bloody love. I, I think the film should have perhaps been in my list, if anything, as an honourable mention. There is a lot of law involved, and I think as a law student, you could see the challenges the case offers, and could experiment yourself with what you would do if you was on either side, if you was defending or prosecuting. Let me know in the comments below, have I really dropped the ball in this one? Should I have included it? Is it a top 5 film for law students? Is it better than the rules of engagement? That would be a good question. Let me know. I feel comfortable using legal jargon in everyday life. I object. Her list of extracurricular activities is impressive. She was in a Ricky Martin video. Aren't we always looking for diversity? Welcome to Harvard. Okay, so third and final film is Legally Blonde. And I'm going to upset a few of you because I still haven't seen it. I'm really sorry, little potato. I still haven't watched it. Look, it's a comedy to start with, which kind of puts me off, as I think it might lack a sense of seriousness to it, authenticity. Uh, I always think, you know, films with, with too much comedy in it, you, you, you can never really take seriously. And as a student studying law, you kind of want a film you can take seriously. You know, when you read into the story, it talks about the main character, Ella Woods, played by Reese Witherspoon, trying to win back her ex-boyfriend. Really? This is a law film for law students? I'm not convinced. 
Uh, the only part that does interest me is the fact I believe it's based on real experiences of a woman trying to be taken seriously at the Stanford Law School as a pretty blonde who's into fashion, into beauty, and seems to get treated like that stereotypical dumb blonde. That side really does interest me from the perspective of how females can be treated in some academic areas, like they don't belong there, but as a law drama, suggesting it to law students, I admit I was nervous that nobody would take myself seriously by suggesting this film. Was I wrong? Should I include it? Comment below if you want me to watch it. If I get enough likes, maybe I'll give it a go, but I, I really struggle with comedies in general. I like seriously hard to watch films. Anyway, this has been a video showcasing three law films that I think that you guys think I've missed out. Uh, let me know in the comments overall, should I have included them, should I have not? Is there any other films I should have included? I mean, some people have suggested Kramer vs. Kramer, um, and I just even haven't looked at it yet. Should I be looking at it? Let me know in the comments as I keep saying. My name's Joshua. Please subscribe if you want to see more of these kind of videos. Like the video if you've got some value, if you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.